Welcome to a random vlog. I just had this urge to do a vlog. I haven't done one in a while. Like, I, I don't remember the last time I'd filmed a vlog. So, hi. <laughs> How is it going with you? I thought, well, it's Friday. Let's do a weekend reading vlog. So what am I reading right now? I just today picked up The Beatrice Prophecy. This is by Kate DiCamillo. It's her newest release. I've had it for a little while and I've been really wanting to get to it. So I'm, I'm making myself read this right now. I'm really liking it so far. I'm only a chapter. I think I'm on chapter three. And so far, this is giving me big Tale of Despero vibes, which just makes me so happy. Like, I don't know, that book is magic and I'm so excited that she's, right, she's written a new book that is similar in feel to that. And then I'll just show you the dust jacket because I pulled the, the cover off to read, but I'm also probably going to finish this this weekend. This is an Every Generation by Kendar Blake, and I'm loving it. Like, I just, I needed this. I've been on a big Buffy kick when am I not? When am I not on a Buffy kick? I'm always on a Buffy kick. But like I've been really like in the mood for it this like last couple of months, weeks, whatever. So I really wanted to read it. It came out in January and I've been just like so excited about it. So I finally picked it up and I love it. I was nervous because like, I don't know, I want it to feel right. And it does. It really does have the the same like feel and dialogue and mannerisms of the show. Like I can visualize all the characters like speaking and acting the right way. So I mean I do have some big thoughts. I, I might film a whole separate video to talk about those thoughts, but I haven't decided if I'll do that in another video or just include that here. But it'll probably get spoilery, so I don't know yet. <laughs> But I, I will say it's done a couple things that I don't love. So it's probably not going to be a five star, but it's a solid four. Like I can feel, it feels like they could like film this today and it would work. <laughs> and so I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I hope that it's a series actually. I feel like it might be building up to that. Like, this might be the first book in a series. And also, I want to say Kendar Blake is, like, a super fan, or must be, to have nailed the mannerisms, particularly of Willow. Like, I just, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'm really enjoying it. So, it's, it's a very happy reading time for me. And so, so that's what I have going on. Other than that, this weekend, not much. We're getting a new fence put in in our backyard. And they're working on that today. And then I don't think they're doing anything this weekend until Monday. So, like, we're just not going to have a fence. And I have two dogs who run fast. <laughs> so, so we're having a hard time with that. They're going to have to only go out on leash. And they're not thrilled about it. Like, Spike will be fine. He'll, he'll go on leash and he'll do his business and be like, whatever. Drew, hmm. She's sassy. You put her on leash and take her out. She's like, what are you doing? I can't go to the bathroom when you're standing right beside me. Ugh. She needs she needs her space and her privacy like a proper lady. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be a long weekend. So I figured I'll just take you along for the ride. So I just spent the last, I don't know, two hours cleaning my daughter's room. Hi. It's a whole mess, but it needs to be done. Because we have people coming from out of town and I just want to get this house clean. So, so that room is like the most chaotic room in the house. And I've been putting it off and putting it off. So I worked on that today at Regina. <laughs> anyway, that was my afternoon and now I'm completely exhausted. And I think I want to read. I just don't know what I'm in the mood to read. I think I might pick up In Every Generation because I, I think... I think I'm in the mood to read that right now. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the next little while is read and kind of wind down after wearing myself out cleaning. I think I'm going to go make some tea. 
and then read for a little while. And I still don't know what I'm making for dinner because today was just a weird day. I had to go to the dentist. Then I spent the afternoon cleaning. We can't let the dogs outside normally because there's a fence getting taken down. So between all of that chaos, I'm going to try to get some reading done and we'll see what I get through. going on? What's happening? <gasps> Spike! What's happening? Hi! Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, Snoop. Who's <laughs> a good boy? Who's a good boy? Everyone is very excited because... There's no fence in the yard. The work guys, the workmen, I don't know. <laughs> the workmen came and they took the fence down. So now our yard is open. So that's stressful. But hopefully, oh, can you guys see the glass? Like my dogs jump so high. This is like eye level. Eye level snoot booping into the window. <laughs> so. Anyway, my husband's out blowing the leaves out of the way so they can get in here and put at the fence. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. I know it's gonna be at least a few days of this, so. Wish me luck with these two. Are you guys good doggos? Who's good doggos? Hello, hi Spike. Hi Drew. <laughs> Lest anyone think my dogs are too well behaved. Hi, Drew. What's going on? Is Spike attacking you? Is Spike getting you? No? Where are you going? So, it's now Sunday. I did not vlog at all yesterday because yesterday was not a great day. I was so tired. This not having a fence thing is rough, <laughs> but I did read a tiny bit yesterday, but honestly not much because I kept falling asleep. So um, I went back to bed this morning after letting the dogs out at like 5 a.m. and dealing with that. So I'm a little bit less groggy today, but I'm still, I'm still really tired, <laughs> but I have a lot of things to do today. So I'm hoping I can pull myself together. So I'm about to film a video, hence the makeup. I'm about to film a video, and then I have to edit this video because it needs to go up tomorrow. And then I'm gonna to try to finish in every generation today. I've got less than 100 pages. I think I have like 80 pages left in, in every generation. So I think I can do it. I'm gonna to try to get that done today. I'm really excited to finish it because I have a lot of thoughts and I wanna talk about it, but I wanna know how it ends first before I start sharing anything, so. I'm excited for that. And um, yeah, so that's my day. Basically, I've got some cleaning and things to do. I got to film this video and edit it and get it uploaded so it can go up tomorrow morning and finish a book. I have finished filming. I uploaded the video. Everything's done there. And I ate lunch, fed the dogs. So now, finally, it's, it's happening. I'm going to finish this book. I have, I don't even know, like, hold on, I can't hold the book. I have like 80 pages or so left. Um, also, I've been annotating it because there are so many little moments in this book. I got these really cute colored, like, sticky tabs that I've been using. So I've been annotating as I read. Um, yeah, so I have so many thoughts about this book. I'm, I'm excited to finish it so I can talk about it. So that is what I'm going to do right now. 
I'm going to read for the next little bit and hopefully the dogs don't jump on me too much because they are so hyper right now when they can't go run outside like they normally do. They're a lot. So anyway, I'm going to start reading and I will let you guys know my thoughts when I finish the book. So I finished. I finished the book and I'm giving it four stars. So my thoughts, I'm, I'm going to organize my thoughts into an actual like written review later. But for now, I really liked it. And I'm going to try not to be spoilery. Although if I do see some spoilers, I'll like, I'll let you know. I'll put my hand up if I'm about to spoil something. So this story is set about 16 years after the events of season seven. So if you've seen all the way through all of Buffy, the TV series, then you are ready to pick this up. I You could read this without having watched, but I feel like a lot of the stuff in here that makes this great would just not make any sense to you if you haven't watched Buffy. So Highly recommend, if you're going to read this, that you watch Buffy seasons one through seven, because a lot of the characters in this book um, were in this series. So, for like, Oz and Willow are in here, and Spike is a main character in this story, so, like, it really does help to follow what's happening if you have watched all of Buffy. So, I, I really like what they did overall. I will say I can tell Kendar Blake is a super fan and like we could be BFFs because I feel like she really got most of the characters. I won't get spoilery, but I feel like Spike was very underused and undervalued. I feel like he could have added so much more to the plot than he was given. And the setup we get with him is like, has so much potential. Like <laughs> it could be so much better. Um, I still enjoyed it. I just feel like he he was very underused. Spike is literally my my favorite Buffyverse character. So like to have him there and and be so like in the background was I I I understand, but at the same time I wish there had been more. Um, same with Oz. Oz in is another one of my favorite characters, and I was so excited to know that I was getting more Oz content in this book. And when he was there, it was great, but he's not there a ton. And again, I get it. The, the focus is meant to be on Frankie and her new little Scooby gang that she's building, which I liked all of that too. I think Frankie as a character is, is written. I feel like she's trying to write her as like a sort of willow slash Hermione kind of character. Like, she's very much, like, an activist and, like, focused on eco-rights and that kind of thing. She's very much like an eco-witch. And I liked that. And she's also kind of got the gawky awkwardness of Willow. So, like, I liked her as a character overall, but I'm not sure I buy her as a slayer. I just feel like we the slayers we've been introduced to in the series have been so much more capable and frankie's just 
she's she's it's like if Willow were called in season one and like her being a slayer. Willow by season seven, fully capable. Willow season one, no. So like Frankie doesn't come off to me as a capable slayer. Um, but those are small things. There's also something that happened at the beginning of the book as an explanation. I'm trying to decide if it's spoilery or not, and I'm going to decide that it is, so I'm not going to tell you specifically, but it is a thing that I absolutely hate in the, the, like, Joss Whedon-verse. It's been done, especially on Angel, it's been done too many times. And to have that be a main plot point for a certain character's origin in this book... I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm just like, why? Why do we? Why? Why? So, hmm. If you're dying to know what I'm talking about, I'm going to go ahead and tell you because I feel like I can't leave it like that. So I'm going to put my hand up. I'm going to spoil the fact that Frankie was born because of the spell that Willow does at the end of season seven. If you have been a fan and you watch the finale, you know that Willow does a spell on the scythe to make all of the potential slayers become slayers. Very cool. Her hair turns white. She becomes like a goddess. She's the most powerful witch to ever exist, and I love it. It's amazing. However, apparently, this spell caused her to become mystically pregnant and her, the father, if you want to call it the father, was the spirit of the first slayer. And so she has this baby that she did not consent to. <laughs> and I'm just like, why, why with the mystical pregnancies? Why, why, why? So that's the whole setup for why Frankie is a slayer. Uh, spoiler over. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, I don't know. So like that really bothered me. And I wish it hadn't happened. So, but overall, I liked the story. I think Kendra Blake's writing is great. I liked, I liked what she did with Willow. I like, like, oh, the, this, the Willow stuff in this is great. Like, it made my, my heart happy to get more Willow and to see, like, what's Willow like as a mom and the, the I, just all of that was great. I loved the writing in this book and how well Kendar Blake was able to, like, throw so many little Easter eggs in for fans. Like, if you love Buffy, and you, you must if you're reading this, then there's a lot of great stuff in there about, like, all the little throwbacks to all the things. Like, there's so many throwbacks. So many. And I loved it. Honestly, like, a lot of my tabs... A lot of the tabs you see in here are all, like, throwbacks to stuff that I was just like, oh, yay. <laughs> so so I, I really enjoyed that. So four stars. I really liked it. I think if you're a big fan of Buffy, you probably also go are going to like it. Um, you're probably going to get cranky about some of the choices made, as I did. Hmm. But overall, overall, I felt like it was pretty solid. And... I'm definitely going to pick up the next book. It's going to be a trilogy, I think. So definitely interested to see where it goes. And yeah, so I thought it was a lot of fun and I'm glad that I finally picked it up. So I think I'm going to end my vlog here because to be honest, I'm exhausted and I just want to go veg out. So I think I'm going to end this here. I got dinner in the oven. I've got to go downstairs and check on it in a minute. But um, I hope this vlog isn't too much of a mess. I guess I'll find out when I go to edit. But yeah, so I feel like this weekend I did get some good reading in. I never did pick up The Beatrice Prophecy again. It's just been exhausting with no fence and hyper dogs. So not as much reading got done as I wanted, but I'm going to finish it this week, I think, because I really want to pick it back up. And I'm also going to start A Lats Away next because I have a book club to run, and that is our pick for the month of April, and I have one week left to read it. So. <laughs> So I should probably get on top of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.